today I want to show you how to build long-lasting gardens. Gardens that can have decades of organic fertility, that can extend your growing season, are low maintenance and highly productive. Welcome to Food Forest Living, where we adapt our lives to grow more and use less. Wherever you live, this method can work for you. Today, we are building Hugo Culture Gardens. Hugo culture is a method of ground prep for a long-term thriving garden. From German, it translates to hill culture, where mounding organic matter can serve as decades of garden fertility. We can use thick logs, thin logs, tree brush, leaves, hay, wood chips, mulch, grass clippings, kitchen scraps, Manure or the sod that you might dig away in order to make this garden bed. Whatever you have can be used. Searching Facebook Marketplace or joining relevant groups often helps me find local materials either free or very well priced. If you have a limited supply of organic material and wish to have fertility in your future, the best way to get some is to grow some. You can grow many prolific or nitrogen-fixing plants. My favorites being sumac and Jerusalem artichokes or autumn olive and comfrey. I will talk more about these plants and how we can grow our own soils in future videos. Once we have our material, we need to pile it up. Begin your mound by layering the most decay-resistant hardwoods, then softwoods, and branch brush down first. Layering nitrogen rich materials too. When we design our soils with greater biomass, we can extend our growing season. As decay begins, the mound accumulates heat and the logs sponge and hold water. Our garden will be low maintenance because it will retain water when conditions are wet and they will share when the times become dry. We can save more water by providing an organic layer on top of the soil while we wait for our chop and drop cover crops to grow. After year one or two, we can let the rain do all the watering. And here we have decades of organic fertility an extended growing season, and low maintenance garden. In order to grow abundance, we need to find methods that give back, more than we take, or there will be nothing left to build growth with.